Hi everybody, Jody Ann Johnson here with the 75th episode of Coffee with Jody, and today we're going to be talking about the creativity age, innovation, the four-day work week, and employee engagement. Stay tuned. It's an interesting conversation. My most recent client came to me with the idea of creating a summit in 2022 on the research and merits of a four day work week. Now it's my job to see that my clients reach their goals and dreams. And I have to tell you, at first I was like, mm, I don't know if the world is really ready for that, but okay, let's, let's, uh, let's look at it. Let's explore. And in my research on the topic, I found this is not a new conversation. It's probably got about two decades of research and uh, dialogue about the merits of a four day work week. And many people went to a four day work week during the pandemic, um, reducing hours out of the uncertainty of what was going to be going on, you know, not really knowing what was happening, including us. Now, we restored the four day work week to a five day work week when we got the first round of the PPP money. But a lot of people kept that four day work week and found that they could get everything they needed to get done, done. Now, there may be an argument that there was less work. Um, however, not for some companies, there wasn't less work at all. One of the most recent articles I read on the topic was from Bloomberg. It was actually uh, published last week on the four-day work week where the CEO, Adam Ross of Ewan, which is a tech company, said during the pandemic they went to half-day Fridays to kind of ease into the, into the weekend. And then at the beginning of the year, they decided to go to all Fridays off and found that, that even though they had not reduced salaries or benefits of any kind, that they were just as productive. Now they're doing a year trial of this. As we look back in time, I was surprised to find that it was actually Henry Ford who came up with the weekend, the concept of the weekend, 1926. By 1932, in the US, that became law. And Prior to that, it was a six and seven day work week. So we've been moving in this direction, actually, for a while. France has gone to a 35 day work week almost 20 years ago. Spain is considering it in their government, a four day work week. And other uh, countries such as Japan are also looking at the merits of a four day work week. So it's not an entirely new conversation the way I had thought it might have been when this client first started talking to me about it. Now, why do I bring it up? The innovation that's required to solve the, all of the world's greatest challenges, namely those that the United Nations has in their sustainable development goals, requires the currency of creativity, imagination, and innovation. However, people can't bring that forth when they're exhausted. Everyone went through a pretty rough year, whether it was emotionally or being out of work or financial challenges or even having businesses that were running very well but were at max capacity. There is a certain level of exhaustion out in the world after dealing with this for a year. I'm bringing this conversation forward because as business owners, we want to be engaging in a dialogue and looking at the research and testing and measuring whether or not this is something that could work for us and our companies. And it certainly is one of the things that they're seeing in the recruitment job sites of people looking for a four day work week. So it behooves us to actually begin to really explore this as a possibility. This idea of the four day work week could go a long, long way to having employees be more engaged because they're less exhausted, less stressed, and are able to manage their day in and day out lives a little bit better. And with the half a billion dollar cost to United States businesses per year of disengaged employees, it's something for us to consider. I know it's controversial, but I do think it's time for us to begin to talk about the merits 
of a four day work week. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe to my YouTube channel where we'll be having much more uh, dialogue on this topic and others related to employee engagement. That's it for now. 